second day in a row that I'm at this park and I'm with Ryan. We just got off a Scram Eagle first ride. What'd you think? I didn't get to ride it two weeks or before my Silver Dollar City trip, but kind of mind just hit our heart there. But okay. Yeah, which actually, before we get any further, tell us about new fire in the hole. New fire in the hole is a great ride. It's just you gotta wait a long time because the new buzz of a new coaster. Plus it's a renovation of a historical attraction for the park. We got there in line 20 minutes after the park and it was already out of the entrance. Uh, you told me it went down for like, I don't know, 15 minutes? 15 minutes in the middle of us riding it. We made a 90 for it. It's basically the same exact thing as the original, just more theming and onboard audio. Yeah. So you say you got stuck in the middle of it. So you were on the ride when it just got stuck? No, it was, we were in the middle of the line. When oh, it got I gotcha. I gotcha. Overall, would you say new find in the hole was better or worse than the original? Better. More theming makes for a better ride. You told me the first drop wasn't as good, but this the last other two were better. Two were better. Yes. Yeah. It actually was raining. You can tell it's kind of wet out here. Natural will be expecting a lot of crowds today because of it. Eagle, we got some good air time, running pretty smooth. I would say better than both of my rides on the red train yesterday. And uh, only two in the train. Yeah, we were the only ones on it. So that's pretty cool. Catwoman's still closed. So good thing we got on Eagle when we did. The boss is our next stop. So let's do that. Seems like there's no one up here. Either that or they're waiting for more people to ride it. But it's very possible we'll be on the first train of the day. coaster battle today because Ryan's never done it with rookie racer included whereas I have so we might try and do that at some point today but for now I guess we'll head down towards I guess the front of the park. Ryan suggested we do pandemonium since we're right here which I guess let's go for it because it's literally a walk on. Since we are doing this now we might as well run the whole coaster battle today so by doing this we'll be at number four and then we'll get on Mr. Freeze here at the wild. Then we'll already have half the coasters done so we're making very good progress so far. <laughs> Well, we just got lucky on Pandemonium. I thought we weren't going to spend that much at all, but we actually got a rare ride, or at least I did, where it actually spun some. First half was mediocre, but the switch and the helixes caught me off guard again. We were facing sideways, and I went forward. <laughs> After that brake run, we started spinning like crazy. We got extremely lucky in the second half, because that's usually where the spinning is killed off for me. Definitely the best ride I've had on it in quite some time. Good yeah. air time off the drops as well. Yeah, we did get some good air time as well. We're almost halfway done, so let's head down towards the front of the park and get on some of the coasters down there.
better go. We did Mr. Freeze. That was running really, really good, but I think Boss for me was a little bit better, but not by that much, because the second ride in the back was amazing. They are neck and neck. Which did you find better? Back of Freeze is better, but I don't know which one is better for today. Both yeah. of them are amazing. And then we just did American Thunder. Rough. Yeah, this thing is starting to show a change, man. It's not running very smooth these days. 15 years old. I'm surprised it took this long for it to get this rough. We just did back row of red train. That was not very smooth. The fact that it was still better than my other two rides this year, but I don't know. If this thing continues to run rough or if it continues to be forceless or whatnot, I see this thing appearing on the list of coaches that disappointed me in 2024, which I'll be coming out sometime over the next option. There it goes right now. So we're gonna go try the front row now and see how that compares to the back row. Thunder front row a little bit ago. I 
think that's better than the back, honestly. Oh, yeah, it was a lot better, <laughs> I think. And then we waited, I don't know, 10 minutes in the main line for Batman. They were signing rows. We looked out and got assigned the front row. And I can't even feel my feet because that was just ridiculous. Ridiculously intense, as always. Yeah, the Helix. Once we came with some Helix, I lost my feeling in my feet. We got these guys. You want to say what's up? You're in the middle of the YouTube page. want to say hi. Hi. <laughs> And I apologize, my camera works now the greatest, but anyway, we're gonna go ride Ninja now, and then we'll have two coasters left. We just walked straight on to Ninja. Is it just me, or was it like actually not <laughs> so bad? Great. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't tracking too badly this time. Right out on both the first two inversions. Yep, and even on the ending helix, it kind of grayed out a little bit. And there's a runaway basketball going down the hill there. I don't know if the camera can see it, but that's something. Anyway, Ninja, I thought it was good. It wasn't as loud this time, which uh, that was quiet. Like yeah, the last time. I don't know what. What was up with that other ride we had last, last time we it's were a here? Train. That's what I was thinking, yeah. When we hit the Mickelson, I'm like, maybe it's the other train. Overall, I would say Ninja was actually pretty solid today. And now we're gonna go ride River King Mine Train and then Ryan's favorite, Boomerang, to finish off the day. <laughs> well, not to finish off the day, but to finish off the coaster complex. So let's go do that. <laughs> that I made. Ryan and I rode Room King my turn in the front row and coming out of the tunnel there was a crazy ejector pop. Not this time. No. And we were curious to find out if it was a fluke that one ride and it indeed was. But honestly the funniest part about that ride we almost rallied. When we went out the station they brake checked us and then again like half the train was out of the station and they brake checked again. Yeah. And we were rolling so slow. Like two miles an hour. I legitimately thought we were not going to make it to the first slip scale. Like it was crazy. So that was a bit of an interesting experience. And now we got to ride Boomerang, which I know Ryan you're super excited about. <laughs> yeah, he hates it. But he's willing to do it so he can complete the coaster column, which gotta be done, so let's do it. Ryan didn't enjoy it. 
The whole ride you said it was really jerky. The only part that's actually decent is the second part of the Cobra roll. Even then, it's still not great, but the first part of the Cobra roll is horrible. Jolt into the chain lift is horrible. The only part I like is me braying out on the loop backwards. That was it. That's the only part I like in that ride. Then you rode the very back row on Eagle. Don't do that. Do not ride very back on Eagle. It, it'll uh, hurt your back. Oh, it hurt your back? Yeah. Ouch. It will hurt your back. That's not good. I've ridden very back on Eagle 4 and it's just not smooth back there. It's funny because in a previous video, I think it was the Top Tech Coast to Missouri, and we said it's sitting in the second back. And there you go. We just oh, talking about broke the Broby thing. Ride in the second back or you kiss your back goodbye. Yeah, no kidding. That's what we're going to do now. I haven't done Justice League too much, and Boss is currently closed right now. So maybe we'll get back on Boss when that reopens. double maxing it on Justice League earlier. I had like 935,000 I think it was. I forget what the same last row exactly was, but it was something like that. And then I did Mr. Free's front row, which was awesome as usual. Ryan's on American Center right now, so once he gets off of that, he'll be over here with Lark and we'll take that for a ride. Why was that running so fast? I just don't get it. So fast in the first half, and then it still ran fast in the second half. With the mid-course trimming extremely hard, mind you. Like, that was the hardest it's trimmed for us in a while. It was trimming when we were, like, 10 feet down that drop. I don't remember the last time the boss almost did a dive coaster on us, essentially. Like, Brian thought we were almost gonna valley, which I'm like, bro, that's the second coaster we almost valleyed on today after my train? Yeah, exactly. I don't even know how that's possible. I'm telling you, when the tracks are wet, this thing is a whole different beast. So I'm just gonna tell you that much right now. It's just unbelievable. Blaster does in fact still exist, and unfortunately neither of us got it. There was another person with the glitchy blast. Yeah, we were in the back of the vehicle, the person using it was obviously in the front. But I still had some control over it, and I got 800,000 with it, so I'll consider that a win. I really didn't have any control over mine, though. Yeah, that was just funny, but we saw the lines really short, so I'm gonna wait yeah, and try and get that car and really screw things up, I guess. Yeah. Overall, wasn't that pretty funny seeing that for your first time? Freaking hilarious. Yeah, it was one of those rides that was so bad it was good. I just wish I had that blaster. Yeah, so I think we might try it one more time and then if he gets it, you gotta max out all six of them to know oh, how oh, crazy yeah. that'll be. Yeah. And get the perfect score, which is 5,994,994, which is what I got twice yesterday. Ryan and I both got to use the Glitchy Blaster, which I'll get more of his thoughts on using the Glitchy Blaster at the end of the day here, once the park closes. I am at 1494 right now, so technically speaking, I could get number 1500 on this next ride if I get the Glitchy Blaster, which I never had an opportunity to max out all six into a milestone, so I agree that would be a hilarious way to get my first milestone in 2024 on this, so let's go do that, I guess, use car eight and get the Glitchy Blaster.
We freaking got it, dude. 1500 with a glitchy blaster. I really feel like they're gonna have it fixed by next week, but still, I am glad I got to use it multiple times, and that was an awesome way to end up my weekend here at Six Black St. Louis. Brian, what did you think about using the glitchy blaster? It was the funniest thing ever. It was so fun. I was pretty much laughing the entire ride. Oh, yeah, I was like, I could not even breathe because of how hilarious it was. Click once, and then it just shoots. Yep, it was on auto fire, which is hilarious. In 2021, I had a similar blaster, but it was not on autopilot. So I had to keep pressing it, but this time, man, I can't believe it was doing that. But still, that made for a very memorable set of rides on Justice League, for me at least. My final ride count was 11 on Justice League, 4 on Rookie Racer, 3 on Boss and Mr. Freeze, 2 on American Thunder, and then 1 on every other coaster and Log Flume. Do you know what your ride count was? 7 on Mr. Freeze, 7 on Justice League, 4 on American Thunder, 3 on Screaming Eagle. I had 2 rides on Rookie Racer. One on log flume. I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, you counted this too. I personally counted as four because it went around twice each time. Ryan got multiple rides on boss, but he forgot to mention that in his ride count. Highlight for the day, I think this is a no brainer for me at least. What is it for you? We had some good rides on boss. Uh, place, the, the, the rides on boss and the glitchy blaster. Yeah, those are just messed up. That like, was so uh, fun. yeah, I actually don't know if uh, Ellis was going to hit his 200. That's said in the previous vlog. Ellis was going to hit his 200 this vlog. I don't know if he did, so I'll double check with them. Probably the most productive day we've had in a long time. Time. Yeah, no kidding. It's like we got on pretty much everything we wanted to today. So I guess that wraps it up. And before I click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to come away and enjoy about this video and be sure to share with someone else. Man. If you're new to this channel like myself, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.